welcome to Racewalk Planet Television, the program that brings you the latest race results from around the globe. Profiles and interviews with top stars from around the country. Cutting edge advice on sports nutrition and supplements. Plus the latest technical shoe reviews. Welcome to the premiere episode of Racewalk Planet Television. In the coming weeks, we will bring you news from major international competitions, national championships, and local events. We will interview the elite athletes of our sport, plus give you the tools and knowledge you need to reach your walking goals. On today's show, we look at a new world record, visit a historic site, and have an exclusive interview with two-time Olympic 50-kilometer walker Philip Dunn. We have a great show for you today, so let's get started. On Saturday, December 2nd, 2006, four-time Commonwealth Games gold medalist Nathan Deeks broke the world record for the 50-kilometer race walk, recording a time of 3.35.47. Competing at the Telstra Australian 50-kilometer road walking championships in blustery conditions, Deeks took 16 seconds off the world record previously set by Poland's world and Olympic champion Robert Korzanowski at the 9th IAAF World Championships in Athletics, Paris, France in 2003. Deeks smashed his previous best and Australian record of 339.43, which he set in Melbourne in 2003. Overcome by tears, an emotional Deeks fell to the ground after crossing the finish line, his wife Annette and parents rushing in to congratulate him. Deke said after the race, it is obviously quite a surprise, I didn't think I was in that kind of shape. To break a world record is really special, and to do so at home is even nicer. Our congratulations to Nathan Deeks on his superlative performance. Next, we travel past Los Angeles to Pasadena, California, site of the world famous Rose Bowl. Every year for the past 46 years, the Walkers Club of LA has held a race walk at the historic site. Walkers come from all over Southern California and surrounding states to participate in the historic race. They prepare and warm up in different ways to get ready for the race. The walkers begin their race and they go around the Rose Bowl and park to race 10 miles. This year's race started out as a battle between Pedro Santonio and Mario Lopez as they battled out in the early morning. The walkers had to pass the famous Rose Bowl itself many times as they went by. This year's race was dominated by Pedro Santoni, who took an early lead and never relinquished it. All the walkers did great and everyone was satisfied with their effort. It was another successful event for the Walkers Club of Los Angeles. From Pasadena, we traveled to San Diego, California to visit with America's leading 50 kilometer race walker, Philip Dunn. We caught up with Philip as he prepares to defend his national title in Chula Vista on January 28th. We caught up with him as he was in the middle of his final preparations for the race. We asked Philip to give us his thoughts on the upcoming 50 kilometer race walk championships. The 50 kilometer race is in two weeks and my plan is to finish in the top two or three. Uh, I would love to win again like I did last year of course, uh, but this year the competitive field is going to be is going to be at a much higher level. We've got some young guys who are trying it out for the first time and I think they've got a real good shot, their training is going well. But I think I've done enough 50Ks and I have enough experience that I should be right in the thick of things. From what we saw, he was well prepared to meet any challenge. We wish Philip Dunn all the best in Chula Vista on the 28th. 
Hope you enjoyed the show. Keep checking back for more exciting Racewalk action. For Racewalk Planet Television, I'm Chris Rael. Okay, here we are with Philip Dunn, Olympic race walker. And something that we've always wondered about Philip Dunn is this rug that he has on his <laughs> chest. And uh, if you could tell us a little bit about this rug and why you put this rug onto your chest. Well, one of the nice things about having a little bit of chest hair is that it cushions your shirt. It actually holds your shirt away from your skin. You see these old guys who are just sweating and their shirt is clinging to them and they can't really get, you know, they can't cool themselves off very well. And this actually holds holds the shirt right off of my skin. It's like there's an extra little layer of air that cools me down when I'm walking. Now, I'm afraid to ask, but is it the same on the back? Oh, no, no. We're pretty good in the back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're not bad. Got the, if, sur uh, the laser surgery. Okay. Laser surgery, yeah, I took care of that. Um, if you want to see a good example of someone who's accessorized the front and the back, I would talk to Ray Sharp. I think he's done it. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. The reason why he has that rug on his chest. Yes. With Olympic race walker Philip Dunn. Thank you, Philip. My pleasure. All right. The only way I can keep up with Philip Dunn. Yeah, but see, I'm still ahead of you. Just a little bit. Not if you go this way. <laughs> oh, now you're ahead. Last word for you.